Hello! In this video, I'll be unboxing my new laptop, for which I'm very excited about. It is the HP Spectre 360 14. Needless to say, this is not a tech review channel, so if you're looking to get into the really nitty-gritty information, resolution, what kind of like internal capacity thingies this laptop has, this is probably not the video for you. But what I can do as one of the common people, one of the plebs, if you will, is give my opinion because everyone has an opinion. And let's be real, most of us are not tech experts. We just want to know if a laptop works well, if it lives up to its expectations, if it's comfortable to use. And I can definitely say that. I can tell you of my experience. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, I have not one, but two boxes next to me. I'll get it into that later because it has a reason. And then there's this really big one. But it's kind of heavy, I thought this laptop was supposed to be light. Uh, yeah, actually I need that. I lift that for a reason. I need scissors, don't go anywhere please. So I ordered this one from the HP website. Quite frankly, this was not a cheap option. I looked at the specifications and, you know, to my knowledge, this was a good laptop to get for the purposes that I want to use it for. Ooh, this is so exciting! Okay. Delivery notes. Okay, this is the box that you usually see. I got it. Oh, I'm so scared. Okay, so this is my first laptop since a while. Uh, since a bunch of years, I have used my dad's old one ever since my other laptop crashed in the middle of writing my bachelor thesis, so that was not a great experience. But I'm very grateful for the fact that he gave me his. It's a very good one. It's a Dell. I'm not gonna lie, it feels a little bit weird going to HP after living my life on Dells. They're really good laptops. Um, oh yeah, also, this is not sponsored by HP at all, but I think that it's quite obvious. Okay, so this thing is already dropping out, which is the sleeve that comes with the laptop, and I have to say thank you so much, HP, that's a really nice gesture. There is so much packaging to this. So if you look at the box, you can already kind of get a feel of how this laptop is going to look like, and it does look really good. I mean, look at that. It's really nice. I know, we're going sideways. Where is the G-forces? Ooh. This looks really tiny, actually. Oh, wow. Okay, I cannot tell you how much I've been craving a laptop that is just light and not flimsy, good quality, but just, you can, it doesn't take, look at these noodles that I call arms, they're tiny. Okay, you have no idea how excited I am by the fact that I can lift this with one hand. Ooh! It's so beautiful, but also it's quite tiny. Did I make a mistake? <laughs> Ooh, the charger! Oh yeah, okay. Ooh. <gasps> this looks insane! Oh my god, it looks so pretty! It is that light that when you open it, it kind of like, you almost take the whole thing with you. I really don't mind that because that just testifies of how portable this thing is. Oh my god, I can lift it with one hand! It's like I have a MacBook, but then better, okay? MacBooks are not superior, I just want to say that. Okay, sorry, I just repositioned the camera a little bit. <laughs> Wow, there's so much I want to talk about. Okay, so one of the reasons that I got this laptop is actually the size. And yes, the design of the laptop also really spoke to me, but I do have to say that I feel like in 10 years we'll look back at this laptop and we'll think, oh my god, what were we thinking? How could we think this is pretty? I do not really think that the design of this one specifically is very timeless just because of the color combination. And you know, nowadays everything is rose gold or like brass oriented. But I think in 10 years, this, this won't age well. Of course, this one is also available in the blue color with like more goldy accents and brass and also in silver, which I do think 
it will age a lot better. So the color of this laptop is supposed to be midnight black or something, evening black. I don't know, I bought it in Dutch, so I'm translating it from Dutch, but I have to say in more like natural lights, the color is definitely more brownie. I would even say aubergine, you know, like eggplant. I also heard in one YouTube video a guy referring to it as a poopy color, which is a great association for something this pricey. You get to sleep with it, and I think for this laptop, like the size and the compactness and everything. You do definitely want to take it with you on the go. And then to have a sleeve that will protect it when you're doing that is really, really helpful, actually. Is this the pen holder? Yeah, it is. Okay, so in the end, your laptop will be like this size. Uh, ooh, I didn't even show you the most exciting thing about this laptop. Are you ready? Ugh, isn't that just the weirdest thing to do to a laptop? And then because it's called the Spectre 360E, it has the ability to like go all the way like that. Wow. As you can see, it kind of turned from a laptop to a tablet, which is really cool. This laptop has an OLED display with touchscreen as well, which is great if you want to use the pen for it. Also, this size I feel like works really well for it. The 15 inch, maybe less so. Okay, so we're just gonna undo this because it's freaking me out a little bit. So, just to talk about the specs briefly. It has an i7 processor, 11th generation. It has an Intel Iris Xe video card. And something that is also not inherent to this laptop, you really have to, you know, find this laptop with the right specifications. I made sure that I had the 16 GB RAM memory. And it also has one terabyte SSD storage, which is, I think, the largest storage that you can get for this size of laptop at this moment, anyway. I'm currently a student and I want to use it for writing papers browsing the web, reading articles, watching YouTube videos, editing YouTube videos. And just from the research I did, which I think was like adequate, I think this one should be able to do it. Let's just get the charger quickly. So this charger that you get with the Spectre 14 is the same that you would get from the 13 inch, uh, which is really great because it's obviously the smallest one that you can get. Also the screen itself, I think the name is a little bit misleading because it's not 14 inch, it's actually 13 and a half, but it does come across as quite big. It has a three by two aspect ratio. It just comes across as really tall and comprehensive for a tiny travel friendly laptop uh, that it is. Now this laptop is also equipped with Bang & Olufsen speakers and it just has a large strip on the top of the keyboard. It has a fingerprint scanner which I will be very gladly using and it also has oh facial recognition and Windows Hello which I am not sure if I'll be using because to be quite frank thought of that kind of freaks me out just like this feature yeah i'm just a little bit paranoid like that i don't like computers being able to recognize my face <laughs> so and talking about paranoia <laughs> how about that bridge huh it also has a special mute button for if you're on calls or if you're not on calls and the government just wants to listen in on you that you can uh, mute the microphone it also has a camera turn off switch, as in, I don't think it's a software thing, it's an actual physical thingy that slides in front of the camera, so no one can really hack it. So you don't have to worry about people creeping up on you. So I think that's also a pretty cool feature. I still have to open this because you're probably wondering, hey Elisa, don't you have also the pen? I was looking for this. It does always have this sleeve included, but not the pen. Which is kind of a shame because it's kind of their marketing strategy, it's kind of part of the product I feel like. That you have a pen that you can use for creative processes. You want to draw on your laptop like a futuristic child, then you can. But not if you live in the Netherlands. <laughs> However, that one day when I decided, okay, this is the day that I'm gonna buy my laptop, I went on their website and they had this promotion that the pen was included for free, which was really nice. So in the end, I did get the pen with it for no extra cost because it was part of a promotion, but it is a little bit of a shame that if you buy this laptop and everyone on YouTube promises you that you'll have a pen, that you have to buy it yourself, and it's not cheap, let me tell you that. Pillows! Why so much packaging for literally this? Wow, it feels really heavy. What is in this box? It almost feels as heavy as this laptop. Okay, so it looks like a really good product, really well made, and obviously it's gonna synergize with this laptop like crazy. 
and it's gonna make the experience even better. But someone please tell me why this pen was 100 euros. That is a lot of money for a pen. I know it's a special pen, but it's a pen. Yeah, can you tell this video is not sponsored? <laughs> Just to give you some comparison material, I'll get some other laptops. Why did I say I was not a tech review channel? Look at this. Do I not look like a tech review channel? <laughs> so my mom got also a new laptop the other day. It's also from HP, so great comparison material. This is the HP Envy in 15 inch and this is so much bigger. Okay, I almost feel bad for my laptop right now because it actually looks like it, it's not really a proper piece of equipment next to this one. But this one is also, it's a beast, you know? The screen is even taller, if I can say that way. However, the chin is significant. And this one, you get a lot of screen for your laptop. Like the screen laptop ratio, I'm not talking about the screen ratio, but the screen laptop ratio, it's literally half of the device. This thing is so big that I was really just put off by this. Also, it has an i7 processor by Intel, but it's the 10th generation, and then this one has the 11th. Yeah, it just it just looks like a baby, but in a good way. Like this is kind of, this is the kind of monstrosity that I really did not want, and I mean that in the best way. It's a really powerful monstrosity. If you would just buy a laptop for purely the specifications, I think it has a better graphics card, and it definitely has more storage and memory. It is also cheaper. <laughs> Seriously, ironic. But the fact that this one is so tiny is a pro to me. Also, if we look at the charger for the HP 15 laptops, I mean, just look at the difference of these two battery packs. I think this is like twice the size. It makes sense because it's a bigger laptop, but I really do prefer the smaller one. So I'll just give this one a go for about a week or two and I'll get back to you on how it runs, how it works with different software, how the speakers are doing, which will be for you in a second. Oh god. <laughs> Perfect transition. What do you say? It is a few weeks later now and I think I got a pretty good impression of what this laptop um, is. The good and the bad. There's definitely some bad. So please keep on watching if you're thinking of buying this laptop, especially if you're buying it for video editing. That's, that's all I'm gonna say for now. But with that said, let's just start with a positive, okay? Am I crooked now? I feel like the camera is a little bit crooked. I'm an amateur, okay? What do you want? Okay, so firstly and most obviously, this laptop is just eye candy and that makes it also so nice to work with for like the mundane tasks, the everyday tasks like browsing the web or yeah, watching YouTube videos, although I have something to say about that later. The experience is just really great. Firstly, the, the screen on this thing, it has an OLED display and it has a good reputation for a reason, I get that now. It is so incredibly beautiful. And just the color intensity, compared to my old laptop, I'll insert comparison material here. This screen is just really pretty and the colors are saturated and they kind of jump out and stuff like that. And it's just a really nice experience. Also the layout, everything, the accents, the gem cut design, it's pretty. But furthermore, the mouse pad, it's nice and big. I do have to say the pad is not as responsive as my old laptop's one. That said, my old laptop, it's a Dell XPS Z, I think. And it's just a really good laptop, even though it's eight years old, it performs really great, even though it's very slow, it's still very good. So I don't know, maybe that's just the thing that Dell is better, I don't know. Then the type comfort on this thing, it is really nice as well, even though I do have to say I prefer my old one, but that can be a matter of getting used to it, so I am not putting that in a bad category just yet. And I really like the fact that you can use it as a tablet when you want to. You have also really come to appreciate that feature. And you can just flick through some things, watch some videos, I don't know, take some notes with the pen, which I will also get into later. And when you put it in tablet mode like this, the keyboard is inactivated and also the mouse pad, so you don't accidentally like press stuff. So right now I'm touching the keyboard, but nothing's happening on the screen. Now the other positions this thing has is, of course, the tent mode or what I, what I can think of, right? Which is really great, personally, I think, for listening to music because the speakers are on this side, like right below the keyboard. Even though it does have the speaker pattern on the top here, I believe the actual sound comes from here. And then if you put it in this position, the sound can actually boom out nicely. And then you have this surface as like the graphics. Then you also have the whatever you call this mode. I'm really trying to be careful. <laughs> 
which uh, is accommodated by the little feet on the keyboard so that the keyboard doesn't actually get damaged when you do this. And this is just really great for watching movies, I think. And of course there is this position, which is really great for doing any type of work. Then for music quality, I had really high expectations because it does have a Bang & Olufsen speaker system and they have quite a good name and the music quality definitely is nice. Though I wouldn't say it's exceptional or anything. Also, I found that it wouldn't really go that loud. For instance, if you're watching a movie, you would really like to have the sound on an optimal level and you really want to be immersed in the story, right? And I really had the feeling that I had to top up the volume more and more to get it to a comfortable level. And at some point I was just at the max and it wasn't that loud, but maybe I'm just going deaf. I don't know. I would say the speaker system is like an okay. It's not great. It's not bad either. It's, it's good. But for this price point, I would maybe expect a little bit more. And for the name. Then about fan noise and heat. So I did use it for video editing and I did notice that the fan is definitely audible, but I think the frequency of the sound is not as disturbing as some laptop fan noises can be. My old laptop, for instance, would just sound like a plane taking off and it would drive me crazy. And then for the heat, it would actually heat up quite a bit when I was working on it with video editing to the point that it was uncomfortable to touch. But I feel like when it did get that hot, I had it on my lap and that may have contributed to its hotness. I, I don't know. It does get hot though. Something I forgot to say when I was unboxing this thing are the ports that this thing features. So it has a USB type A on this side, which is always really handy to have. And it has a USB type C port on this side and a five millimeter headphone jack on this side and a micro SD reader, which could be super handy if that is the size of SD card that you are using. I currently, and most people I think for video editing, use a full-size SD card, so I would have really appreciated it if they would have put that in instead. Now I got a separate SD card reader. It wasn't that expensive, so it's not a big deal, but I really, really would have appreciated it if they put a regular size SD card reader in. And then the charger is also a USB-C port, which is on the corner here, and it kind of makes it feel like the gem cut design is there for a reason. Okay, and I didn't talk about the pen much in the previous section of this video, but that's also because I wanted to try it out first before I was gonna say anything about it and make a fool of myself. So yeah, this is the HP stylus. It comes with two extra tips and it has a little charging cable and you can plug it in your flat top and charge it like that. What I saw on some reviews is that they were able to magnetically attach it to the laptop, which I don't, like, am I, am I doing it wrong? It just doesn't stick. So I don't know if that's another US exclusive. So let me just turn it on. One, two, three. Wait. It's not lighting up. Ah, oh, come on. Why is it not working? Friend, are you serious? Why is it not working? I don't understand why it won't turn on. <laughs> I seriously don't understand. Why don't you work, friend? Okay, yeah, it doesn't seem to work. I don't know <laughs> what's the deal here. So I'm just gonna charge it, even though it says it has 86% and it's paired, but it's not working. That's a great thing to do at a review, man. Then for the webcam, it's also fine. I don't really think it's anything special, like quality-wise of the image that you get. It's like your average camera. So we have come to the parts of this laptop that I'm struggling with. And it kind of pains me to talk about this because I want to love this laptop so much. What makes this laptop so great is the design and the OLED screen is great and blah, blah, blah. However, something I noticed with this gem cut design on the sides, it is also there with the ports. It has that triangular shape there as well. And what I noticed with my portable SD card reader is that when I used it, it actually got damaged a little bit by this gem cut design on the side. Because, you know, when you have it in, it's fine, but then you're trying to get it out and you kind of wiggle a little bit. And that's when it hits the sides of that gem cut. And it kind of left a little scratch. Now, it's not damaging the device in, in the sense that it cannot function anymore properly. It's just a little scruff. But you wouldn't expect the design of a laptop to get in the way of, like, proper usage or safety of your devices that you're using with it. It's a nitty gritty thing, but I think it's still important to mention and that you are aware. And then for my major concern with this laptop is that when you're watching videos, whether it be YouTube or on Netflix, I notice that it kind of stutters with the image when you're hitting pause and then later play. It kind of needs a few milliseconds to 
reboot itself or something because what happens is that the image starts going but the sound doesn't and then the image stops so that the sound can catch up and then they continue together but it kind of stutters in that way now another thing that has to do with that which i am really really frustrated with actually video editing it is definitely not made for that this laptop is not made for video editing for the regular things like cutting and pasting it's fine but once you start to meddle with the graphic side of things it's just not a good time. And I really notice this when you're speeding up a clip, then the graphics can just not keep up and it starts to stutter. And if you're trying to make a time lapse, for instance, in your videos, you cannot see how it will turn out because you'll just see individual still frames of the video. And I really think it has something to do with the video card that is inside. It's the Intel Iris Xe graphics card, and it's just not up to par for the big job that is video editing. So if you are thinking about getting this laptop and using it for video editing, please reconsider it because you're gonna have a frustrating time. It's probably better just to get like a 15-inch laptop which has a lot more room for a better graphics card and better specs and all that. The 15-inch version of this laptop I didn't really hear good things about though so maybe if you want to stay in the HP brand area you better go for the Envy maybe or just other ones. Maybe a Dell. I don't know. But yeah, this laptop, it's kind of a disappointment in the graphics area, which is ironic because aesthetically this thing is top-notch, I think, if you like what you see. Oh, one more thing that I did want to say. So the screen of this is a touch screen, and you can turn it on and off, obviously, but what I noticed is that the margins are so incredibly small on this screen, like the chin is like the biggest but it's still really tiny and then the forehead like the webcam barely fits in there which they did really well and then the sides are barely there which is really great because you get a lot of screen for your device but i find myself like touching the screen to adjust the position or whatever and then just touching things because there's really nowhere on the screen that you can touch without touching the touch screen and then also the keyboard they really try to make that optimal as well in the space but it's very kind of feels crammed almost because there is nearly any room next to the keys to hold it or lift it but i think what you get in return of that the fact that the screen is so big and the keyboard is really big for the small size as well and very comfortable to type on it does not feel like a 13 and a half inch laptop i think it's definitely worth it it's just something that you have to get used to and you have to keep in mind so i just got this thing working i don't know how <laughs> because the light is not, it's not responding. I'll just ask the support desk how to use this pen properly. So the usage of this pen is pretty nice. You can use it to make art or write stuff. So let's just write something. Hi there, question mark. And you can even use the backside of this pen that looks like an eraser as an eraser. It's just funny, I think. You can also open Word documents and PowerPoint documents on here and I don't know, sign your name on stuff or something. Rainbow pen, pretty. Go on, go on, okay. And you can just write on it like this, which honestly is a lot more comfortable because my arm hurts right now. It even has the presentation mode for which you use the button on the side to switch slides. But yeah, I think that concludes everything that I have to say about this laptop. I really, really, really hope that this was helpful. If you're thinking about getting the same laptop or wondering about specs or if you can use it for video editing, please don't. If you have any other hidden insights that no one told before or that you think people should know about this laptop, please leave them in the comments so other people are notified as well because it is definitely very important that if you get a laptop that is quite the investment, that you have one that really fits your needs and we can help each other with that. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.